not forget to tune in and keep it locked into the Ubuntu FM hip hop show where I, Chris Duff, will take you through some of the UK's leading hip hop artists. Oh my gosh, it's going to be an excellent show. See you there. Big St. Dre, bars on tap, better know I don't play. Anytime they play my track, gotta hit the replay. Come through and cause a scene, tell them niggas make way. Incoming, tell them boys there, got it ain't safe. Nah, it ain't safe. This star on the rise needs stars in the race. Hey, if it's a race, I'ma come first place. Yeah. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so gassed Everly because in the studio with us tonight we have Saint Dre. Give it up! Woo! Go on. Um, so Saint Dre, tell me about your name. How did you come up with your name, Saint Dre? You know what? Coming up with my name was actually very difficult. I went through so many names. I remember at one point I was called Cartier, and I went I went to be called so many things, but I think I wanted to keep it something that was true to me. And like, I know I'm a big like Kanye West fan, so the whole like Saint and like Yeezy era type like things, or what I'm like, kind of into stuff. Uh-huh. Let's put some of that in there with me. Bada bing, bada boom, Saint Joe. Nice. Um, and how long have you been doing music? Uh, truthfully, I've been doing music since I was in school. Like, everyone used to get together and write their bars on their phone, and we used to spit them at the bus stop. And ever since then, I knew I always had like a, an eye for music. Um, my older sister, she does music as well. She's more like R and B, like kind of neo soul nice. kind of vibes. So I kind of always had that, like growing up around me. And I thought, I don't want to do this. So okay, <laughs> that is awesome. Um, so tell me about your genre. Do you do you strictly do hip hop, or do you um, go outside of that that realm as well? You know what? I try to stay as hip hop focused as possible. However, I do have quite a few songs which are on a different kind of genre. So I've got a garage song, I've actually got a house song which I'm planning on releasing soon. Um, my thing is, before I even started releasing music, I wanted to make every type of music that I could possibly find to find my sound properly and to know what I connected with and what I gelled with. Mm-hmm. I'm slowly still trying to find that. I still try to make you know songs out of my ordinary just to like test myself and see that like, what I'm actually capable of. Um, but yeah, hip hop is kind of where my feet are, but it's not where I'm going to stay. I'm definitely going to branch off into other genres. Okay, cool. So one of the songs that really um, got my attention was a track by you called Play Dirty. Um, let's have a listen to it and then let's talk about that track. Yeah, of course. Cause it's all fun and games till I wanna play dirty All fun and games till you're not on the map Ran down your block, we did too many laps Fuck how you feel, man, I'm itching to scrap Yeah, it's all fun and games till I wanna play back Uber lots around the city, sitting pretty in this Maybach I'm gonna cheap out when it's time to get my payback Niggas ain't fucking up the motion in the ocean Can't you see I set the waves, so I like I wore a wave cap I dip and dive and run the light cause I can't wait, act Bind up the M and turn your city to a racetrack Email one extra with the latest, told them play that if you ain't on it like you say you are, then you should say that I kept it solid even when they hurt me Wasted my time, they should reimburse me Charge it to the game, just don't take it personally Cause it's all fun and games till I wanna play dirty All fun and games till you're not on the map Ran down your block, we did too many laps Fuck how you feel, man, I'm itching to scrap Yeah, it's all fun and games till I wanna play back There's levels to the shit, man, if you only knew All I did was plant a seed and now it's starting to bloom I just stepped in the door and now I'm shaking the room My advice is, don't get comfortable and don't get shit confused I'm not amused, I'm, I'm charged up, that little nigga just blew a fuse I'll paint his bitch's face and I'll tell him like he's my muse Got your baby giving lineups and I ain't talking to cues A different level, I elevated the views I cop both, I'm never needing to choose If I'm out, I'm stepping in some easy shoes Or some off-white J's or some D.O.B. 22's I find it funny, they really ain't got a clue Until I pop out on these niggas and show them just what it do What it do? 
what it do I'ma pop out on them niggas and show them just what it do I kept it solid even when they hurt me Wasted my time, they should reimburse me Charge it to the game, just don't take it personally Cause it's all fun and games till I wanna play dirty All fun and games till you're not on the map Ran down your block, we did too many laps Fuck how you feel, man, I'm itching to scrap Yeah, it's all fun and games till I wanna play back I kept it solid even when they hurt me Wasted my time, they should reimburse me Charge it to the game, just don't take it personally Cause it's all fun and games till I wanna play dirty All fun and games till you're not on the map Ran down your block, we did too many laps Fuck how you feel, man, I'm itching to scrap Yeah, it's all fun and games till I wanna play back Yes! Tell me about that track again. Right, so Play Day, I actually wrote that on a whim. Uh, I was going through some things uh, with some people um, and I kind of took a step back and looked at quite a, few, quite a few events that have happened in the past and how people have really just been toying with me and just playing with me. And I, I'm a good person and when people <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, you know what, if I care about you, I'm never going to come to you on like a... Mm-hmm. I'm just going to try to work it out. And people take my kindness for weakness sometimes because they feel like, because I have respect for you, I'm not going to come to you on that on that aggressive vibe. I'm just going to deal with it maturely. And people like to take advantage of that and try and like just do things. No, I'm not going to do nothing or no, I'm not going to like get back at you. So I thought, you know, when people put it into the music, like, I've got better thing to do than beef and like beef is true and do you do that often then do you, do you write from your perspective kind of thing what's going on in your life or do you write from um the other perspective as well kind of thing like from a second person a healthy a healthy balance some of my music is about me some i think you know when i've got writer's block i can't think of anything to write think of a story think of fictional characters and write about them okay and then because i'm literally making for example like love songs and stuff like that because mm-hmm. i'm making up stories my creativity gets to run wild and I can think of more ideas and you know especially when I haven't got anything myself to write about it's just easy to to have a topic that's crazy kind of thing I think some people that um go through writer's block would want to talk to you about that mm-hmm. do you know what I mean because that's actually quite a really cool tip to you know when you actually go through writer's block or when you can't think about writing for yourself write for something else kind of thing that's good you never know who you can relate to it. Anyone can be going through a situation that you, you've thought of and it can just, you, you know, they can connect with it even though you're not, it's not something you're personally going through. Mm-hmm. So um, when, um, when, did you, when did you know, when was the catalyst that you knew that music was something that you wanted to do? Um, I wrote a song called Icy. Um, people around me, I mean, it's, it's never come out and it was supposed to come out but I had some issues with my laptop, my hard drive literally just went on me I lost all my stuff oh. at that time but that song every person I played it to no one had anything bad to say about it like the bars in there were ten ten. everything about that song just showed off my writing ability and that's when I realised yeah I'm, I, I'm meant to be doing this for real because if I can come up with that Imagine with more practice and more time down the line, everything else I can come up with. Develop and take kind of things throughout the years. I love it. And um, who's your who's your inspiration? Who motivates you? I may get a lot of uh, backlash for this because I don't think it resonates with my music. But Nicki Minaj is one of my biggest inspirations. Okay. The reason being her lyricism, her wordplay, her punchlines, her delivery. Every time she gets it right, and I can only aspire to reach that level. It's it's incredible the things she's able to you know come up with as one woman. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you feel the internet has impacted the music industry? Oh, can, if we're talking before lockdown or prior to lockdown, I feel like lockdown really made things happen for a lot of artists, especially with apps such as TikTok, Instagram. People are spending a lot more time online, and it's allowed new artists who probably wouldn't have been discovered if there wasn't a pandemic to finally get their time to shine. Okay. Which I actually think is beautiful. And I feel like that's something that's going to stick around now. It's not something that just happened. We're back in the open again. It's back to, you know, these corporate giants and machines making people blow. We've actually got a form of social media where you can post a video and you do not know who's going to see it. It's not limited to your followers. It's not even limited to your country. Like, everyone around the world will get a chance to hear your music. And it just depends on that algorithm. You've got to get lucky. You've got to be consistent. Oh, wow. 
how oh, all you young people are so inspirational for real, for real kind of thing. My uh, my own ass is just here like on one post per week. <laughs> um, so, um, who is your dream collab? That's a great question, and you know what? I don't actually have a specific answer. I love a variety of artists. I love all of them for their individuality and what they do and what they bring on a track. Um, I think the obvious answer here would be to say Nikki because she's my biggest inspiration, but I, I honestly, I don't know. So, um, speaking of collabs, you collabed um, with an artist that we had in recently um, and called Carter the Bandit. Oh yeah. Tell me about that track. Uh, so that track was, that was off the whim really. I think we were in the studio and he was playing some stuff that he had and I liked the beat and I was like, should we, should we work together? I'm always, you know what, I'm constantly in the studio with Carl. I'm mm-hmm. constantly like, I like this beat, I like this beat, I like this beat. But the moment we actually got to really work together, it was beautiful, it happened so naturally. And we we got in the booth and made it happen. And look at that, do you know what I mean? Everything happens for a reason at the right time. Nice, I mean, the tune, the, right to the track is awesome. Let me just play it right now for the people them to hear. Just swear Louis just sent me the beat. Look how I'm coming, these niggas ain't ready for nothing I told these bitches I did it, I done it I got issues, I guess I'm the problem You know that I got it, just look how I'm coming These niggas ain't ready for nothing I Told these bitches I did it, I done it I got issues, I guess I'm the problem You know that I got it, just look how I'm coming You can never ever be like me Take a nigga out to dinner in my fresh white tee uh, Baby tell them I'm the best newbie Got these niggas in their feelings cause I'm blessed my G Now, tell these niggas if you talk to my charge I walk with an army, the life of the party Sitting pretty while you sit your Bacardi I talk kinda classy, the best when I'm Nasty. Big bank, pulling up, big racks Where the niggas with the figures counting up them big stacks I'ma need a couple zeros, yeah, I'm getting big bags They ain't really fucking with me, nigga, tell them who's bad Who's bad, now I'm up, who's mad I'ma show you how I get it when you got a real plan I'm a big man, nigga, you're a big fan Yeah, years the rookie, I got these bitches popping pussy on a handstand Look how I'm coming, these niggas ain't ready for nothing Tell these bitches I did it, I done it I got issues, I guess I'm the problem You know that I got it, just look how I'm coming These niggas ain't ready for nothing Tell these bitches I did it, I done it I got issues, I guess I'm the problem You know that I got it, just look how I'm coming I know they looking at me from the other side But I'm just keeping it G, no I ain't gotta lie Love how they miss their shots, I mean they gotta try The day you get to me will be the day that pigs fly Me and all my niggas turn it up, it's not poppin' They fuckin' with no bottom bitches, all we know is toppin' I hit them with receipts like I just came in with the shopping. A team of wet niggas tell my hit up, bring them up and I'm a fly nigga All a nigga know is trick take, fresh out of Miami, hit New York I had to switch states, body by my side, a level-headed guy But if you make the wrong move, just cause you're fucked If you switch states, go best friend Tonight you know we're killing them, go best friend Tonight you know we're twinning them, machine pack with hella sweet Ain't talking millions, I turn around, look at bro yelling Look how I'm coming, these niggas ain't ready for nothing Tell these bitches I did it, I done it I got issues, I guess I'm the problem You know that I got it, just look how I'm coming These niggas ain't ready for nothing Tell these bitches I did it, I done it I got issues, I guess I'm the problem You know that I got it, just look how I'm coming Yo, swear Louis just sent me to beat Blind, can I see that blood clot? Um... I mean, that was absolutely banging. Thank you. Like, Carl's an incredible artist, and I'm just glad to be a part of his um, EP. Um, it was a beautiful moment. Every track on there for that for Oh, like, my God. Yeah, I've listened to it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It was> crazy, <laughs> like, <crazy. coughs> Excuse me. So tell me about your upcoming projects. What have you got coming out and, um, next kind of thing? And um, what do you hope to do in the future and collaborations? And you say you produce as well, innit? So are you going to be producing your next project? No, so I don't produce. I okay. uh, work with a variety of producers from the UK and from America just kind of find out what you know beats work for me and get them tailored a little bit by little bit. But everyone's got their unique spin. Mm-hmm. Uh, my most recent project which I dropped is called Ride of Your Life. Um, it actually dropped on the 23rd, um, so go check that out. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, just like a kind of dancehall inspired summery song. I know I kind of dropped it in September, summer kind of went, but it's still got good vibes. It's still, you know, you bounce, wind your waist a little bit. What? Know, yeah. 
Okay, then, then let, let's let's um let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's let the people hear it. Um, we're gonna lead out with this song. So thank you so much, Saint Dre, for coming in no worries and speaking all. with me. A um, it's a lovely, it's a real pleasure. And when next time you're in Birmingham, beg you do come back down and we'll speak about whatever gigs that you're doing as well, kind oh, of thing, course. you know. Of course. Awesome. So we're gonna leave the people down with this here. It's called "Ride of Your Life" by Saint Dre. Baby, one. 